This is how you do stylized brushstroke textures in Blender. Take any existing texture and turn it into this artistic painted look. It's pretty simple. Choose your brush texture. I've got five tileable ones here you can start with and use my stylized brushstrokes node. Everything is available for download in the description. Subscribing to my platform helps support me and everything I build for you guys. Now the first thing you'll need to do is choose your brush texture. Like I said, I've got five here we could use. Let's try this one. We'll download the 4K version. The next thing we need to do is get the actual tool. On my site, just go to Props and Tools, and it's the Stylized Brush Strokes tool. All you need to download is a pretty lightweight blend file. Remember where you put that, and let's load up a scene. Here we have a pretty typical fire hydrant I just downloaded for free from polyhaven.com. As you can see, it's just a number of PBR maps plugged into a standard principled shader. Let's bring in our tool. Just navigate to wherever you saved the blend file, drag it into your active Blender scene, click Append, and then go to the node networks and find the stylized brush strokes node. Once we've done that, we can just search and start typing in brush, and there it is. Now, this is meant to replace the principled shader, so let's take each map and plug it into the appropriate slot. Base color, metallic, roughness, and finally, normal. If you're working in EV, my node should still work, but just so you know, I'm doing this in cycles. You might not see anything really happening, and that's because we need two things. First, we need that seamless brush stroke texture we downloaded. Go ahead and drag and drop it into your shader editor. You might want to add a standard texture coordinate and mapping node here, just so you can define the mapping frequency or the size of your brush strokes. For now, I'll set mine to two. My textures are seamless, so you can tile them. I tried to build this node in order, meaning you should be able to just go down and tweak each setting from the top down. The first is stroke intensity. As you could probably guess, this just brings in our initial brush stroke. It's really not changing anything else about the surface of the object. This is great if you want a subtle brush look, but you don't really want to mess with the physical accuracy in your surface. As you can see, you can also play with the highlights and shadows. That's just nice so you can fine tune based on the brush stroke texture you're using. Next is the tune intensity. Increasing this gives it more of a cartoon look. The cool thing here is you can quickly blend between physically accurate textures and something more stylized. Nine times out of 10, I actually land somewhere in between these two worlds. The last setting is Tune Variance. You can think of this as almost a contrast in intensity of your tune shader. It's at the bottom because it's really intended to be the last step in fine tuning your texture. And that's it. We went from a standard shader to a stylized brush strokes look in just a few minutes. Check out this tool and others on offworlddepot.com. This is my personal site. You can think of it almost like a Patreon, except I built it myself so I can customize my offerings to you and your whole payment goes to supporting me instead of a percentage going to a third party company. It's my 30th birthday today, so it'd be really cool if we could get 30 platform subscribers. You can expect more Blender tools, assets, textures, jobs, and trainings to come. Thanks. Wow.